Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to show you how to use sounds and different sound effects on Scratch. Now the easiest way to demonstrate this is to create a soundboard with a bunch of different buttons that you click and get different sound effects. So the first thing we're going to do is go get a few buttons. Now what I'm going to do first is delete the cat by simply clicking the little trash can icon on his sprite. Next, we're going to go down here to choose sprite. And you'll notice out of the pre-made ones, there are a bunch of buttons down here. So we're just going to add one of these for now. And we'll click and drag it into the top corner for now. On the left hand side, under codes, you'll see sounds. And what we want to do is we want to play a sound when the sprite is clicked. So under events, you'll see a button that says when sprite clicked. So we're going to drag this code block. And we'll go to sound. And we'll play sound pop until done. Now when I click on the button here, we get the sound effect. I'm going to go back to choose sprite. I'll drag another button. And we'll do the same thing. We'll go to events, when the sprite is clicked, and we'll go to sound. Now, we don't want the same sound every time. That's a little boring. So what we can do is go over here to sounds and add some new sounds. Now, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, it says choose sound. Now, Scratch comes with a lot of different sounds to choose from. So there's different guitars, in the different keys, so for instance this is an A with a bass, an A in an electric guitar, a B with a guitar, a B in a sax. So you can actually create some music, almost like GarageBand or a program like this, with the sound effects that are already in Scratch. Now there are other things like Alien Creek, you've got uh, Cymbal, And you'll notice if I pass my mouse cursor over the play button, it gives me a preview of the sound. So let's just uh, pick this one for now. You'll see it shows up over here. So when we go back to our code, we can click right over here, this little drop down arrow, and select that new sound. So you do have to go here to select and add the sound you want first, or else it won't show up in this little drop down list. So now when I click this button, I get that pop, and I can get that sound. So let's go add a new sprite. We'll add another button, and we'll do the same thing. Go to events, when this sprite is clicked, sound, we'll add our sound, and we'll go down here and find another one. So I'm clicking on sounds choose sound, and let's just pick a random one here. That one sounds good. Go back to our code and change that to our computer beep. And there we go. Those are some basic sounds.